And in that organic law, it says we hold these truths to be self-evident. Because that which may be known of God is manifest in them, for God has showed it unto them for the invisible things of him from the creation of the world are clearly seen, being understood by the things that are made, even his eternal power and Godhead, so that they are without excuse. That's Romans. We hold these truths to be self-evident that all men are created equal and endowed by their creator with certain unalienable rights that among these are life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. This little pamphlet will tell you what pursuit of happiness is. By the way, it's not two cars and four televisions and fine home and a lot of food. It's the laws of God. For he is so intimately connected, so inseparably interwoven the laws of eternal justice with the happiness of each individual that the latter cannot be attained but by observing the former. And if the former be punctually obeyed, it cannot help but induce the latter. You can't help but be happy if you follow God's law. And if you follow God's law, you can't help but be happy. We need to learn our law.